Good evening, friendos. It's time for Quest for Semi-Glory, a first new game of 2021. We're starting Return of the Oberdeen tonight. <coughs> it's a very unique looking game. Two color palette with a whole bunch of dithering in between to kind of handle everything else. Created by Lucas Pope. He was the dude that did uh, Papers, Please back in, I want to say, 2013? Or somewhere thereabouts. <coughs> so this is his second game. I'm going to turn the sound down a little bit more. There we go. That's good. Um, but this is a little puzzly puzzle game, a little mystery puzzle game. Um, you're an insurance inspector, I believe is the title. And you're checking out this, uh, this derelict old ship and trying to figure out how everybody died. <laughs> um, and that's about all I know about this. Uh, this was very generously gifted to me by Omega Weapons, so thank you very much, sir. Uh, we are going to enjoy this, I have a feeling. It's a little thinky think puzzly puzzly game. So I will emphasize that, uh, no spoilers and no backseating. Uh, since there are puzzle solutions that we don't know, and I would prefer to work out myself. So, without any further jibber-jabber, let me take a drink here. Let's go! Let's, uh, let's solve some fates, apparently. Let's go. Hey, Gavlo, how you doing? Good to see you. Alright, Lost to Sea, 1803. Good ship, Oberdeen, 1796, yada yada yada. 51 crew members, huh? <clears throat> okay. Very good. James returned, dispatch the following immediately, prepare a full assessment. Okay, okay. Yep, so we're the Chief Inspector of Insurance and Claims of the London Office of East India Company. Alright. <laughs> what a good start. <laughs> Said you'd need ferry to the Obra Din. Obra Din, sorry, not Dean. Obra Din. Not many eager for that job. I would imagine not. Seems a bit late if you ask. I didn't. <laughs> What's in the box? Don't worry don't about know. it. <laughs> I'll hoist it up in a few minutes. Hey! How? Carefully. Okay, so, here we are. Uh... Very, very one-bit-ish, of course. Um, okay, so let's, um... Let's figure out what we're doing here, first of all. Oh, this is super cool. Very stylish. Alright, so, we walk around. We, uh... We zoom in with right click. Uh, okay, and let's uh, let's have a look around. Let's see what's our menu like. All right, that's just options. Okay, we've got sidestep. If we need it. Yep. Yep. Okay. Very good. <clears throat> All right. Well, let's let's figure out what we're doing here. Gonna walk around a bit, take in the sights. Um, although there was that box down there, wasn't there? I, let's try, I tried to interact with it, but <coughs> didn't really let me do anything. I don't think. But let's see what we got. Hey, Firetron, how you doing? Hey, you Omega, how you doing? Let's see you both. Um, okay, so I'd presume I'd want to grab my luggage, right? Oh, well, okay, we're going back on the ship, that's fine. Let's see, are there any other buttons I should be aware of here? Space, middle click, right click, left click, no, 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 pretty much every other button zooms in. I guess that's important, huh? Trying all the keys. There's no control. Oh, yeah, there is control. Here we go. Space, zoom, pause, open book. Okay. Tab. Hmm. I'm a tabbing. It ain't doing nothing. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Like, I presume I need to grab my thing down here, right? I thought. No? Tab ain't doing nothing. No? 
Okay, well, back on the ship we go. That's fine. Alright, well, I can, I can dig a game that doesn't throw tutorials in your face right away. That's fine. Do a little bit of walk in a boot here. Ew, that's kind of disgusting. stuck. Or both. Oi! Oi, what? <laughs> okay, that's probably the trigger that gets us our, our thing, huh? <laughs> it's too heavy. <laughs> anyway, what do I pay you for? Alright, so there's our notebook. I don't see how it would be too heavy with just a book in it, but hey. Whatever. Okay, this is find yourself about the day to come, blah 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 blah. <clears throat> My failing health is allowing me to produce only a basic outline that follows. Presence on the Oberdin is critical. I leave the discovery of its fate and the completion of this book in your hands. The next few pages will seem bewildering at first. All will make sense in time. Use the pocket watch to determine the identity and use the pocket watch to determine the identity and fate of everyone aboard. Read the chapter accurately and return the book by guaranteed post to the French Office of Affairs in Morocco. The Oregon chapter will remain unknown to you. I possess the details within, but I've elected to keep them private for now. Thanks, Henry. Gee, what a bro. Keeping secrets. Keeping secrets. Alright, so what do we got? We've got the, the map of where we are. <clears throat> We've got the ship plans. Oh, interesting. Okay, so we are here at the starboard walk. Got various descriptors of where things are. Interesting. Cans, quarters, passenger cabins. Mate, fourth mate, first mate, third mate, son, listen, eight. Stewards, midshipmen. Off that port walk, starboard walk, okay. <clears throat> Cargo hold. Interesting. Alright, I guess we're going to uh, become familiar with some old timey ship terminology at some point, yeah? Oh, okay, we've got a crew winner manifest here. Ah, interesting. Uh -huh. Wait, what did we select? Captain. Robert Witterell, the captain. Well, presumably he's the dude with the old, the old captain's cap back there, huh? Ah. Uh, wait for their clues, I guess. Okay, fine. <laughs> okay, fine. Oh! I hope that's not him. <laughs> be an awful short journey if the the captain got strung up and then shot in the back twice. Not great. Alright. Okay, I see. So this is the... Uh... Wow, this is actually kind of cool. They really leaned in on the style. Royalty. An unnamed and unfaced person there. Mm. Okay. After one, loose cargo. Uh, I see. So this is where we get our info. Fill it in. Murder. <laughs> And the calling. Oh boy, this is a big ass book.
Characters. Okay, so it tells me where each of these kind of parts take place. That's <clears throat> the doom. And chapter eight, the bargains. Shall we remain unknown to leave the ship and return the book to me? Hey, come on, Henry. Be a pal. Tell me about the bargain. And the escape. And the end. Ah. And all right. Now all the all the shippy terms here. Head officer, you have a blah blah blah. You can't even do that. <clears throat> Boat swing. Boatswain. Learn in charge of general crew operations equipment required. Yada yada. Military procedures. The purser. Uh, uh, uh. The soygen. Carpenter. Helmsman. Steward. Midshipman. <clears throat> Topman. As opposed to the bottomman. This is working sales. Rigging the semen. <laughs> I get it. <clears throat> spoilers, the bargain is just in resumes. Hey, come on now, no spoilers. <laughs> we just got here, no spoilers. Oh boy. Rigging the main deck, the down deck, the orlop deck. Mid deck, above low snag, storage cams, animal pens, the ship steering tiller. And ooh, a weird skull tickets. All right, cool. So we got that, and we got our weird little compass thing. All right, well, away we go. Alright, well, there was this dead body over here. Why don't we start with that? Ah, that's right. I knew there was an element of, like, time travel or look back or something here. Captain! Open the door! Kick it in. Ah! Lest we break it down and take more than those shells! You bastards may take exactly what I give you! Oof. Alright. Well, there's the old captain. A little flintlock pistol going on. Oof. A hell of a muzzle flash. Oh, and that guy just fucking ate it right in the chest. Oof. And this guy's probably regretting some decisions. Alright, uh, Cap, you mind if I, uh, slip past you here? No? Okay. I mean, pro tip, don't bring a hatchet to a gunfight. This dude is toast. I don't know who he is exactly. He's got a coat. Belts. Presumably shiny shoes. Though, probably not too bad. Okay, so what did we learn there? <laughs> uh, who is that and how did they die? Well, he got shot. <laughs> that, that much is pretty clear. Um, there are three others present. Really, I only saw the cap and his and his other buddy here. Okay. Location of the corpse. Yeah, apparently on just on the deck, right? I mean, what else are you gonna do? Not like you could dump it in the sea or something. 
three others are present. Okay, so there's there's probably the cap. He's got the fancy ass hat. That's probably the. Well, that might be the first mate then. If he's he's planning a mutiny, maybe. Where this person appears can be navigated from here. Okay, so we're gonna connect the dots a little bit. Memories where they appear for quicker navigation. Okay. All right, and that was the that was the the memory we just. Uh, just saw there, huh? Met an unknown fate. Well, he was fucking shot. <laughs> With a gun. Uh, by the captain. Um, who is he? Don't yet have sufficient information to determine their identity. Did that. I name their them while their faces blurred would be unproductive. Okay. Carry on and pay attention. Faces will become unblurred when the information necessary to identify them has been revealed in some way. All right. Well, we know he got shot by the cap, but we don't know who he is yet. Very good then. And then who's this other dude? This is presumably his uh, accomplice there, yeah. Okay. Very good. Oh, I see. Are we working this backwards, perhaps? Yeah, I think we're working this backwards. So we're starting at the end, chapter 10, right? He said there was a third person present. Oh, there. Oh, man, he's getting the fuck out of here. He's like, nah, man, I didn't sign up for this shit. He's got a... Holding a knife in his teeth. That's a bad idea. It's a real bad idea. Okay, uh... Not much else to see here. Just got this dude kind of getting the fuck out of here. He doesn't want to get shot by the cap. It's over here. Oh, that's to leave the memory. Interesting. Okay. Okay, that's interesting. And here we got probably the cap himself. Oh, well, maybe not. We got two corpses up over yonder. Anything in here? No, it's just the kind of the side area. Side little bit. Nothing of interest. Alright, well, let's examine, presumably, ye old Capitan. Where are they? Must be in here someplace. Or not. Could be the dudes trying to case the. Case the captain's thing. Oh, okay, that's the captain, probably. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Ooh. Oh, wow, jeez. Okay. Got, uh... Oof. Okay, well that's presumably the cap getting his, uh... Getting a new hole put in his throat. There's his pistol. There's the dude there. Oh, well. Okay, Here, here's the other dude from above, right? He's coming... Trying to drop in through the back. Smart dude. And then this dude's just kind of hanging out. He's having a little snooze. Gotta sleep away the hole in his chest.
Okay, so. We don't know who this guy. Oh, this is the yeah, this is the second dude, right? So we don't know him yet. Okay. Still don't know who that is. That's obviously what do you mean unknown? That's the cat. We we know who the cat is. Oh, I see. So now they're nice and sharp. So some, somebody took the sharpen tool out of Photoshop and, and de-blurred the image for us. How how kind. Activities, uh huh. Use the book maps, crew manifest, and artist sketches along with the individual conversation logs to find clues about who the fuck they are. Sixty people on the ship. Came back with zero, presumably. Or didn't come back at all, more accurately. Rare decisive info. You have to make assumptions using partial info. Then it is may only be revealed through a process of elimination. Good luck. Thanks. Thanks. But we know that that is the cat. Does it tell me if I get it wrong? It doesn't. Okay. Alright. Well, very good. That is the cat. Uh, we don't know who he is yet. Wait, is that not the cat? Because he died in he died in the captain's quarters, but that's not the cat, probably. Or is that just one of them? Oh, all right. But we do know how he died, right? He got. His throat slit. He was cut. Uh, burned, clawed, clubbed, crushed. Ooh, crushed. Yikes. Capitated, drowned, eaten. Ew. Electrocuted, expired. Well, okay. Exploded, fell. Ooh, ouch. Froze, illness, killed with a sword. <laughs> Knifed. Poisoned, shot, speared, spiked, strangled, struck. Or suicide. Yeesh. Alright, uh, well... Uh, knifed, I guess? Well, no, maybe not. Maybe not. Can we look at that again, or... How did we go back to that thing? Unknown attacker. Well, yeah. Don't know anything about anybody here. Uh, hmm. Oh, I see. Bookmarking various things. Ah, here we go. Well, hmm. Long hair. Cut hair. Uh, can I go back to my book here once? So they're saying that's this dude here, huh? So that's obviously not the cat. We don't have enough info to deduce that. So wait, is that the cat doing the slicing and dicing there? Kind of got a little, got a little mustache, very, very dark gaze to him. A little goatee soul patch combo going on. A man of style. Does look like he was uh, capped off by the cap. 
<laughs> All right, bye. The captain. And just knifed, huh? There's no like slit throat. Ooh, torn apart. Yuck. Uh, all right. So Cap has got two frags. He is in the lead. I guess that makes sense. Based on how he looks, and his pistol over here. That other dude face kind of coming in the rear here. This dude. This must have. This was probably the dude trying to sneak in the back. Let's have a peeksy pokes here. Let's see what his corpse remembers. Ooh. 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 Dang. Cap with the triple kill. And the- ooh, the knife in the side, yikes. Ooh, that dude just got totally... ...bludgeoned by a broom handle. It's kind of embarrassing. Okay. Looks like that was about it, though, huh? That dude's not gonna remember anything. He's dead. That dude, too. Probably didn't see anything. Presumably, he was the one gurgling at the very start. Oh, we've got another corpse in the back room here. Well, maybe not corpse. Definitely doesn't look so good, though. Alright, so yeah, he got fucking stabbed in the kidney. And then he just whips around. 180 no-scope broom handle to the face, right? Incredible. Dude's a survivor. Well, probably not anymore, but... Dude's a survivor. How'd they die? Well, they got clubbed. Presumably. Or is there a special one for... Struck? Oh. Interesting. No. Uh, probably just clubbed. Clubbed. By the cap. Back of the ship. Captain's quarters, yep, 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 okay. One, one other person was present. Well, that's the dude who got the, took the broom handle to the face. I don't know if that's considered an, an other person. Hey, Kenny, how you doing? Good to see ya. Be more worried if the broom had a scope on it. I don't know. Like, sometimes, you gotta be prepared. You want all the accessories attached, you know, just in case you need to... ...quickly scope someone with your broom handle, you know? Don't want to be messing around... ...trying to quickly attach a scope. Alright, so... ...we didn't really gain much new info there. Other than that dude regrets his choice. I mean, he could have. Oh, well. Looks like it might have been a spear and not a broom handle. Otherwise, somebody, somebody was practicing their whittling. He might have survived that. Granted, that's a lot of. That's a lot of presumably blood there, but he could have survived. Alright, I don't know what's the question of this person over here. That might be our next investim action. He's definitely dead. He ain't coming back from that. There's nobody else kind of trying to peek around here. Alright, 
and that dude's presumably super dead. Is there anybody else up above? No, because this is the path the other dude took. He's like, ah, I'm gonna be clever and I'll, I'll catch him on the blind side, see? And I don't know why he turned into a 20s gangster, but that that was his plan. Anyways, that was his plan. All right, so dude takes Broom to the face, not before he stabs the captain's kidney. Or, or liver? No, probably kidney. That's more to the side than the front, so probably the kidney. Yeesh. Hey, Archmuffin, how you doing? Let's see. Your confession to make. Please don't judge you. Oh, I don't know. That depends. Oh, interesting. We can zoom in on shit. Ah, oh, but that just gives us, like, kind of a highlight. Ah, okay, so that does confirm that that dude was the cap right there. Got kind of the same countenance. Let's get a nice little forward shot. Can we match the angle a little bit? We can't. All right, that's fine. What about this dude? He regrets a few things, I'm sure. I don't fully recall the first time the Oberdin came here. <laughs> well, I don't think anybody does. I think that's what we're trying to figure out. Oh, and then there's... Okay, there was the knife the cat probably used, right? Okay. We've kind of gleaned as much info as we can out of this one. Okay. So, uh, well, if the cap got stabbed in the kidney, presumably the knife would probably be with his corpse, right? Maybe not. Maybe not. Okay. When we open the door... Ah, we've got two corpses here. So one one in the bed, and then one presumably on the lookout? Also had a gun. Alright, well, one at a time, I guess. Abigail. Your brother. My friend, I shot him dead. Well, presumably that's what you'd want to shoot people, dead. I'll be with you soon, my love. Uh-oh. Please forgive me for everything. Uh-oh. Sound warning? All right, that wasn't that loud, but oof. Yikes, I don't know if I'd want to take a, a chest shot to go. That's probably not great. Oh, that's the cap himself, huh? Really? So wait. So he survived that kidney stabbing? I, okay, I guess. Okay, I see. All right, so there's a, a huge pool of blood below him, probably from the kidney shot, right? That's, uh... Cap's lover, presumably? All right, well, he went out on his own terms. I can respect that, I guess. Goodness gracious. All right, so... With the three kill lead, the cap is gone. Uh, where was it? Suicide by gun. This may or may not be correct. How the fuck do you know? I just watched the memory. What are you talking about? Oh, fates are validated in sets of three. Correctly identify at least three people and their fates to have the information type set into the book. Alright, well, I'm pretty confident in this one. We just watched it. What's the question mark? Oh, I see. Alright, no one else was present. Well, I mean, there was a... There was a corpse in the bed next to him. Does that not count as present? 
Okay, so let's see. What else do we have? What other info do we have? We've got the crew, right? Um, is Abigail listed here? Here we go. Okay, his wife. Um, that was her. Yeah, that's her. Okay. Ah, that's Abigail Hoscut Witterall. So probably the sister of William Hoscut, first mate. I don't know how common a Scottish name that was, but seems likely. she was okay we don't have anybody else I ID'd here do we I was hoping to see the cap here somewhere but maybe not all right so there was much dancing and merriment when they got underway and then uh, well things didn't go so well apparently <laughs> all right Okay. All right, so there's some sort of mutiny. Ah, they've got him identified somehow. I'm not sure how, like we just looked at the corpse a little bit closer. was just highlighted there. This dude? Ah, okay, yeah. He's the dude that had his throat slit. Or no. Yeah. Where's the dude that got shot in the chest? This is the dude that got shot. Oh, he's the dude standing next to the cat. So he's probably first mate. Uh, so that was, yeah, shot by Robert Witterell, right? He looks kind of important. He's got not quite the super fancy hat, but he's got a fancy ass hat, right? Eh, I'm not sure I we. It says we can identify him because his face is all cleared and shit, but... Hmm. Hmm. But it would make sense for the first mate to just be kind of there. Uh, so, what else do we know here? Do we know him? We don't know him. No, he's the one doing the... Doing the shooting. He took the knife to the throat. Good job. And then he took the broom handle to the face. Well, presumed broom handle, right? And then, uh, old Cap went out on his own. And Abigail is presumably sick.
Oh, except we did. We got to do the actual memory for her, though, don't we? To actually identify this. All right, we can do that. Maybe not. Maybe, uh, oof. Whoa, hey, whoa, what is going on here? Excuse me. Yikes. Something bad happened going on here. Oh, he is about to fall on that sword. She got bodied by a... Ooh. <laughs> got bodied by one of the masts, apparently. That guy's dead. That guy's trying to help. Good on him, I guess. Alright, this guy's got the right idea. Going in. A Akimbo flintlock pistols? Yeah, go for it. Although, uh, there's a rifle right next to you. Probably should have used that instead. Oh man, that guy's just no help. Oh, that's not even a part of the 10th chapter, huh? Well... She, uh... Was... Crushed? Yeah by the rigging. Yeah. And then moved into the cabin next to the captain. Oh, I see. The X's mark the mark the corpse that we're investigating here. Okay. Okay. A whole bunch of people were there. Apparently we know about all these people somehow. So their faces are quite clear. Uh, well, there's the helmsman. Presumably, I I would guess that no one else but the helmsman would grab the uh, grab the wheel like that. Maybe the cap. Maybe the cap would too. Uh. are all these people? Deduction rating. Okay. That rating is going to be more difficult to deduce this person's identity. Alright, focus on the easily deduced entities first and leave the more difficult ones for later. Don't tell me what to do, game. <laughs> but yes, that does seem like valid advice. These people. Why did they all get on a boat together? Wow, why is our watch hand going a little wild there?
He just saw a ghost. Oh, there's an action. Excuse me? It's the action. Uh. By taking an action, we have lost the lights, apparently. That guy's not half the man he used to be. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh boy. Oof. Ooh. Ah, yeah. Yeah, well, that'll, uh,. Do it, huh? Okay. Easily identifiable markings, right? Easily identifiable by uh, being a torso. Here, throw me that gun. In the next memory, it'll be lying uselessly to the side. Okay. Alright, getting a picture of what's going on here. How did they die? Well, they were torn apart by a beast. That's about all we got. Kind of gross. Should have put a content warning on this. Uh, okay, 12 others present. None of which are... Uh, Apparently identifiable. Besides this dude, for some reason. I don't know who the fuck that is. Our unlucky bro here. Oof. Well, okay, he got a good stab in there at the very least. Good job. Good job. Half credit.
Man, nobody is having a good time on this cruise. way to go. What the heck even happened there? Alright, well, explosion, it seems, right? He's gonna have a small tumble there. Good job. Very nimble. Alright, and there's the dude before he died. Okay, I get it, so we went backwards a little bit. Hmm, okay. How did they die? They were exploded. Uh, or, or electric. That could have been electrocuted too. No, exploded. Was blasted by an explosion. Seems more accurate, right? Throw it. Throw the powder. Yeah. Okay. Seems pretty accurate. I don't know how we could divine his identity by <laughs> by seeing him caught in the middle of a Michael Bay explosion there. is going to have a bad time. Hope he can swim. Oh, and that dude was... They, what, you trying to carry three guns up the stairs? Man, one at a time. Or one each hand or something. Three guns is too many. What is he thinking? Like, th th there's the dude with zero guns right behind him. Like, give him at least one. This guy was having a blast. <laughs> I mean, he did have a blast. One, to be precise. <laughs> That's funny. Oh my god. Alright, well I don't know that we're gonna get anything out of that just yet. Alright, so that was like a, a series of three, wasn't it? Um, do we know anything about this guy? How did he die? Let's see. Okay, yep, yeah, we did that, supposedly. Oh, this is the dude that got hit by the explosion, huh?
Well, he's in remarkably whole shape. After being point blanked by something. So wait, it's still a little bit fuzzy. Does that mean there's a different... Oh, are we just going to go back to it? Oh, I see. Yeah, okay. So that gets us into here. Kaboom. There's this dude. Okay, that was, that was the guy that got literally torn in half. That's uh, ugh, not a great way to go. That's the dude that got shot. Nothing in here so far, huh? Okay. That door's locked. Is there anything in here? Not yet. Okay. Uh, okay, so this wasn't the cap. This is the dude that got knifed by the cap, though, right? Yeah. Alright, so what else do we know here? We don't really know anything else, do we? We've got... Let's see, let's go to crew. Okay, so we've got two, right? We've got the cat and his wife, presumably. I don't really know anything about any of these other folks, though. Do we? No. Oh, wait. Who is this? First mate. This is presumably the dude next to... Next to old Cappy here, right? Is that a good whomp? Okay, that was a good whomp. We did it. Three murders solved. 57 to go. Well, not murders. Three deaths. Three deaths solved. Alright, then we got this dude who we don't know. Who we don't know just yet. Presumably there's a way we can deduce this motherfucker. Hmm. Using those two. Presumably he's pretty high up though, because he's, uh, he's near the cap and he's got a fancy hat.
Helmsman, here we go. It's gotta be the Helmsman. I would presume that's the Helmsman. Like, Helmsman stays at the wheel. So, let's see here. You, sir, are the Helmsman. There you are. Finley Dalton, the Helmsman. Hmm. Okay. That dude's having a good time. Like, good for him. Hmm. Presumably we know who these other folks are, too. I don't see how we could possibly know. They don't give us any other background info on these folks, do they? Would they have told me if that was incorrect? Yeah. Alright, is there just a way I can say nah? Clear that out. Well, clearly that's not Edward Nichols. Probably not Edward Nichols. It's Finley Dalton. Okay, so that cleared it out. Uh, hmm, okay. Let's have a poke around again. Okay, that one was solved. Cap himself. Okay, so he took the knife out of his kidney like an absolute beast. Here's this first dude who got shot. Okay, that that dude was already solved. First mate took a round in the chest. Probably deserved it. There's a dude that got torn in half. Probably didn't deserve that. Alright, I guess let's head below decks for a second here. Let's see what we can see. Locked door. Door. Cannons. He's an unlucky fella. Let's see what you got. Oof. Ooh. 
Ouch. Yikes. That is going to leave a mark or two. So, some turbulence on the high seas. A cannon breaks loose. Crushes that dude right in his fucking trachea. Ouch. That is, uh... Not an ideal way to go. Um, is that dude missing his head, or is that just a weird angle? Well, how did they die? Well, it took a cannon to the throat. That's how they died. Crushed by a cannon. <laughs> by a loose cannon. Haha, <laughs> but um bum. Uh don't know who he is, but oof. Not a great way to go. Well, presumably, if he's fucking around with the cannon, he's some sort of gunnery mate or something, right? Oh, we're getting the death shakes again, too. Huh? Alright. Our death sense is taking us. Presumably this dude. Like, that dude is missing a key body part. <laughs> I think he's missing something critical to life. That's just my thinking, though. Okay. Wasn't very headstrong. <laughs> oh! Oh, God! Mm. Oh, wow. That was a, a meaty blast. One, why would you keep those things loaded? Two, I. <laughs> oh, ouch. Phew. Phew, phew, phew. Hey, Jamesy the Weasel, how you doing? This is Return of the Oberdin. This is the, uh, made by the same dude that did Papers, Please. Lucas Pope. Very, very stylish. It's got a, it's got its own little unique thing going on. How in the heck does this even happen? Oh, they were fighting the weird squid thing. That's why it was loaded. Oof. They either need to put those on a shorter fuse so they can fire faster, or this dude needs to get the fuck out the way. Maybe both. That's a hell of a way to go. So, I don't know. Does that count as his decapitation? Probably, right? Oh, we've got two to this one, huh? Who, who, who? Who is who here? Corpses. Oh, I see. Alright, so that one's definitely the one that got the... the cannon to the face. Uh, but it's not very specific about which one is which. So let's go back and take another... Let's take another peek here. 
that guy, Sir Topham Hat, took the cannon to the face. And uh, apparently there was a second death there, or? Oh, here's the dude that got literally ripped apart. All right, so he was manning the cannons. Oh, was the dude that got crushed by the, oh no, that was before. Well, where the heck is the second corpse in all this then? Ah, here we go. Here. Oh, yeah, okay. So he was definitely, oof, also crushed. Ouch. Given orders. Oh. 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 Ah, yeah. Oof. Well, okay. I mean, these dudes are trying their best, but honestly, they ain't got a chance. All right, so there's the there's the top hat dude who gets, uh, oh, well, no wonder he gets blasted, huh? <laughs> He's giving the old hug to the, the front of the cannon. Probably shouldn't do that. Seems uh, like a poor choice. These guys were setting that one off. dudes that went upstairs later. I don't know what happened to him. Was he the second dude? He was the dude that tried to... He was the dude that stabbed the captain in the kidney, I think, huh? Alright. Alright. Who is this and how did they die? Well, they got crushed by a cannon. I suppose technically, right? I don't know who the fuck he is. And Sir Topham Hat here was the one that uh, got decapitated, presumably, or shot. The shot work here as well? You shot by a cannon, right? Yeah. <clears throat> Blasted with a cannon by, well, I mean, how does that work out? Is that considered, does, does, the, does the beast take the kill there, or does one of his shipmates get the kill? Who is in the lead at this point? I think the cap still is the lead by three kills. <laughs> Boy, yeah, all this, all this stuff is cannon. Surely it is. Hmm. I don't know that we know this just yet. All we know is that Sir Topham Hat lost the holder of his hat <laughs> from a cannon blast. Okay, so I'm still walking around in a memory here, so I can't do anything. Can't do nothing about it. Hmm. Well. Oh, and then there's this dude who definitely got fucking crushed. <laughs> Although, again, I don't know if the cannon earns that one. Or if the beast earns it.
<clears throat> Crushed by a loose cannon. Yes? I don't know if I'd call it loose at this point. Let's have a look around. here. Sitting two or three to a bunk. Ooh. Well. Hmm. Well, okay. Let's see what we got going on here. Oh, no. You're cut. Don't leave me. Bear up, son. I'll stay with you. Tell Pete's mother I, I... I tried my best. Aye. To pull him back, to save him. You tell her yourself. <coughs> Brennan! Bring the surgeon's kit! <coughs> Definitely cut good. We know enough about him, huh? All right. Ooh, damn. Oh, is that the dude that got shot in the face? Was that Sir Topham Hat? Yeah, that looks like Sir Topham Hat. After the fact, huh? Mm. Okay, this is part of a different chapter altogether, huh? Who is this and how did they die? Well, I'm pretty sure they bled out. Uh, but... Mm, I don't think we know. <laughs> we don't know enough of that just yet. We know enough about this guy. Well, if we're going by... No, we can't for that guy, can we? Um, who's the dude that was talking to him? That was this guy, right? If 
Brennan, bring the surgeon's kit. Who the heck is Brennan? Oh, getting the death shakes again. This was the... That's not the first mate. No. Yeah? No, yeah, that's the first mate, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's him. He's bleeding out pretty good. Uh... Well, hmm. Okay, what is all this, you damn fool? He was running around with a pistola. Probably a bad idea. What's his nuts? Clubbed him over the back of the head. Took a knife to the back, that's what it was. Alright. Okay. Sir Top Hat from before. I can't believe that cannon wouldn't have done more damage than that, though. Yikes. Definitely took a club to the back of the head by an unknown attacker. I don't know if is that dude unknown. I guess he kind of is. He was the dude with the um, yeah. Hmm, okay. Oh, he's the dude that took the round in the chest. Or no, no, he was the one that didn't take the round in the chest. He was the dude that got stabbed by ye old Capitan, right? Yeah, or throat slit or whatever. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, that's not the Sir Topham hat I was thinking of. Was it? No, there's this dude here too. So these... Hmm. Hmm. Here, this dude. It was this Sir Topham hat that got shot in the face with a cannon. 
which I don't know technically who to award that kill to. And then the other one that I was thinking of was not that one. that one hmm that dude got clubbed that dude went clubbing <laughs> Or no, he got clubbed. This dude went clubbing. I don't know what happened to this dude. Did he, I mean, did he take like a full blast to the face from that pistola? Yeah, I guess, huh? There's no way they would have moved his corpse all the way from that side of the deck over here. Got another, another shaky hand death going on here. Let's go. All right. So here's the dude missing a good two thirds of three quarters of his noggin. Get, we ain't even getting dental records off that guy. Yikes. Oof. That is how they say rough. Obviously, he was snooping around, right? They're like, oh no, look at this fucker. And, uh, oof. <laughs> oh! Oh, it wasn't even the mutineer caught it. Never mind. Hey, that's pretty cool. Good. <laughs> well, he caught a gun to the face. Shot with a gun. Uh probably in self-defense. Um by nobody. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. What do you mean six people were present? Are you kidding me? Okay. So other top hat dude. Let's think of stealing the ship. Uh. Which 
one of the- I think this dude was stabbed, yeah? Shaky death going on here. So one, two, three. Ah. Well, more above decks. Ooh. What in the hey ho is going on here? Is he saving him or pushing him over? <laughs> Boy, howdy. This plot is getting real thick already. Okay, well... Well, it be what it be sometimes, don't it? <laughs> Ooh, yeah, that dude... ate it in the chest. By somebody we can deduce, apparently. showing up a lot here. It's his deal. Ah, and there's the cat. Man, if she didn't cap this fool, cap definitely would have done it. Hmm, okay. Well, I don't know who it is, but they definitely caught around in the chest. Man, after they survived all that down below decks, right? And above decks, apparently. They came up here and caught around in the chest. Nice job. One. Move quick. Boy, you'll not take the last push. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Well, okay, so he took a a thrust in the uh probably hit his lung, his left lung. This dude, who we believe is probably one of the mutineers, right? 
Yeah, it seems that way. And this dude, I think, was Paul, right? That's what we heard. And how many Pauls could there be aboard a ship of 60? Let's be honest, we, we probably know who that is. Cap was there on his way up. We had a few more. All right, there's Dude Face McGee. He's probably evil. Um, and this dude is probably involved with it too. Anybody else within earshot here? All right, who is this? Well, this is Paul. Paul somebody. Uh -huh. Paul Moss, maybe? I see one Paul. Are they going to get cheeky and give us more than one Paul? Nope, I see only one Paul. Congratulations, Paul. Uh, got stabbed. Or killed with a sword. By, uh... Shurg? By who? Uh, I should get. I just pulled the dude off of that one right there. By uh, this guy? Was it this guy? Jeez, complex mess of garbage going on here. All right, whoever this guy was. Oh no, it was uh, one of the gambling, one of the gambling dudes over there, huh? Or no, he was just having a drink. All right, well, I won't be grudging for that. Oh, I see. They were trying to get down on the lifeboat. Get a clear shot of her there. Yeah, apparently we know who those folks are. The squid's gone. Your mate was torn apart. Mm. That, the beast is dead. How? How did you kill it? We didn't. It left with the storm. The captain came up from the hold. Said he chased it off. Alright. So. A curse like that. Does that live for nothing? Hmm. Okay, so this dude sounds German, and he said he had a Frenchman as a mate. So uh, let's let's have a let's have a let's remember that for now. Okay, that German dude there. I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is. He might be the surgeon or something. And then, oh wow, he is missing an arm. That's not good. Um, and then presumably the French dude was his mate. They were talking about him being torn apart, yeah? Room 
What's this guy coming on out here? One of the midshipmen's quarters? Classify that as a <laughs> as a death, though. Hmm. How did they die? Well, they uh. Hmm. Sort of torn apart? I mean, he was only missing an arm. But... Uh... Uh... Hmm. So... German or possibly, possibly Austrian, possibly Austrian. Uh, presumably Austrian. That's close. Um, he was talking about his Frenchmen, and they were like, "No, man, your 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 mate got torn apart." So that might have been the dude that got torn in half. And if that's the case, then the dude who got torn in half with the weird body tattoos and shit, that's Charles. And then the dude who got his arm torn off is probably Alfred. Assuming mate is being used in the professional sense rather than the colloquial term. Do we have any Aussies aboard this boat here? No. No. Okay. Then it's probably used as the professional term. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, okay. Well, I think that dude then is going to be Alfred. And he was... Uh, what did that look like again? He was missing an arm. And then he bled out or something. So would that be... Another frag chalked up to the squid? Maybe. By a foreign enemy. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, because there was no obvious, like, gunshot or sword or something, so I'm going to say Terrible Beast. Okay, and that's all the shaky hand deaths we had for that for now. Ah, present the drink. Very good. Um, tonight, well, I've finished most of it, but tonight we have uh, Belay It, an American rye whiskey, 90 proof. It was on the rocks. All the rocks have melted, so it's nice and chill, but still good. Uh, served in a genuine borosilicate, eh, some sort of glass. <laughs> so, cheers. Mmm. Hmm, very tasty. Um, okay. Yeah, I don't know, I wish I had more info on that dude, because I don't know that it's, uh, him getting torn apart, necessarily. But, if we do, uh, well, probably go out to, let's see here, the Doom, right? He was one of the kills in the Doom. Not that one. Not that one. Not that one. Not that one. This dude was uh, presumably Alfred's mate there. Bonk.
we think. this the dude? Alright, so he's armed with a pistol. Is that the dude that got his two-thirds of his face blown off before? Out here? Hmm. Let's check around a little bit here. Uh, during what? The escape? Okay, so he's one of the very first ones in this chapter. Well, I don't know. No. Where's the dude that got his face rearranged? Here we go. Alright, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So here's the... Yeah, okay. Here's the dude that has had his, uh... face redistributed... somewhere on the boat. Hmm. Okay, that's sort of tracks, because he's not, our good friend Alfred is not part of these beyond, right? Cabin as he come out of there. We are on the gun deck, I believe. He's coming out of the first mate's cabin there for some reason. Have we identified the first mate? We did. That was William. William Dingleberry there took a round in the chest from the captain. All right, but that's not that's not the dude who was coming out of his cabin there, was it? It was. Uh, well, maybe that was him. I guess he was one of the last ones to eat it, so he's probably going to be in a lot of these. Yeah, okay. That makes sense, I guess. That was him, right? Yeah, okay. Hmm. Who's this guy? That was Cap. He was coming up from the hold. And this dude we don't know about yet. Who do we have bookmarked? That's a good question. Who do we have bookmarked? Hmm. 
Hmm. Oh, I see. And then those four presumably escaped on the lifeboats? Or otherwise did not leave a, a corpse that our fancy pocket watch could discern. Alright, so let's see. Who do we who do we have bookmarked here? Don't know. Tell me. Oh, I think it's the. Yeah, this dude. Mm, supposedly, we should be able to deduce pretty easily who he is. But, uh. I don't know. Excuse me, why are we getting a watch here? Huh. Alright, what do we got? Slack the lifts and lower the boats! The whole crew will be on us! Give it up! Ooh! Damn! Well. Alright. Lethal at, uh... Three yards. <laughs> Very good. Okay. Got one of the Chinese passengers there. Hmm. Hung and shot one of the uh, Chinese guards, it looks like. Hmm. Interesting twist. I don't know who the fuck that guy is, where they were the ones that are trying to escape on the other side. <sighs> ah, it's super early on. Moida. Moida must foul. Corpse move post mortem. Eleven others present. Definitely shot in the chest. Oops, not crushed. Shot by a gun. By an unknown attacker. Uh, well. By, uh, this fucker here. Oh, it's our good friend the helmsman. Looks like he- Oh, ouch. Looks like a, uh, a spear in the thigh? Ouch. Flesh wound or not, that's gotta be a little bit painful. Okay, <laughs> got annoyed. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're, you're probably not wrong there. You're probably not wrong. You have been found guilty by self-confession of the murder of Nunzio Pasquale. 
quiet. As captain of this ship, and by the authority of the East India Company, and thus the Crown of England, I sentence you to death by firing line. <laughs> Mr. Wolf, when you are ready. Mr. Wolf. Ready, men. Aim. Fire. Oof. Yeah. Uh, well, Mr. Wolf, we know, was the gunnery? Gunnery dude? One one of the Sir Topham hats here, huh? Yeah, okay. And, alright, that dude's definitely dead by being shot with a gun. Multiple guns. Looks like two of them, like, straight- three of them straight up missed. How the fuck do you miss at that range? Check your sights, boys. Yeah, three of them definitely missed. Who was the only one that hit? This one here. This guy here. Okay, well, of course this D-bag would hit. Who else we got here? Eh. Yeah. Eh. Yeah. Eh. Yeah. Death by firing line. Death by the one in four people that could hit you. Well, we know who that is. That's Huck Sing Lao. Shot. The gun. By... I don't know. Whatever that dude's name is. We know who she is, right? Because her name was mentioned. She was... Uh... Actually, wait. What was her name? Um, one second. Here. Miss Lim. Okay. Pr presumably. I, I, that sounded like it would have been her, right? Da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da. Uh, Uh, mm. here. <laughs> I found Stormtrooper Academy, right? Because he actually hit the dude. Oh boy. Okay. Got that, we don't know that, we don't know that. We don't know a whole heck of a lot of these other fuckers here, except for, uh, this dude, right? This is the dude who was given the firing orders, right? So he is Mr. Wolf. The, uh, gunnery dude. Yeah. Do we actually know? Hold on a second. Do we know? Do we have any? Okay. Got a gunner's mate. They don't have any, like, just standard gunners on here, right? Okay. ES, huh? That would presumably be the artist, wouldn't it? We saw an artist on here somewhere. Yeah, Edward Spratt, the artist. Presumably he survived to have given the sketches to this dude with the book, Henry What's-His-Face. He was, uh... Huck Sing Lao was accused of the murder of who? <clears throat> Nunzio Pasqua. Who would Nunzio Pasqua be? So, uh, try anyways. Let me just take a look at the list of people. Ah, 
Italian passenger. Okay. Let me just look at the list again. One of these was here. Okay, so the four Formosans up here, right? Poke around, it's getting kind of late, so we're gonna wrap this up tonight. Soon here, let's just get rid of the death shaky hand and then we'll probably call it. The, make the circuit round the boat and end up back here, probably, yeah? Hey, look at that. <laughs> Hello? Who is there? Who is that? Is someone hurt? Senor Nichols, is that you? What are you doing down here? Oh, hello, yes. All fine here. Just uh, sorting some things. Oh, watch your step. Here, let me help you. Oh, yeah. Let me uh, help you take your daily dose of iron to the gut, presumably. Good. Uh, Yeah, that's definitely a chest wound. I said nickels, huh? And that's, uh... That's the Italian dude, right? Pesqua? Ooh, looks like he might have... Uh... So, didn't cap him off just yet. He was a witness. That's why he needed to uh, be framed, apparently. Okay. What's this dude again? Alright. Alright, that one seems pretty straightforward, huh? Moida. This guy we know is uh, Nichols. Nichols. Senor Nichols, second mate. All right. Man, what is it with like these dudes just like two steps below power being crazy idiots? Uh, okay, and then we know this is uh, Pasqua. Uh, Nunzio, Pasqua, got stabbed by Nichols. Okay. I've 
feel like we've seen this dude's face alongside a whole lot of other things, so... That's fun! Let's, uh, get his memories going there. Alright, so he stabbed Nunzio. It's present for the... The, f the one in four effective firing line. And, okay, then did he eventually eat it here, or no? He wasn't. He was present here. No, he did eat it here, huh? No. No, 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 he wasn't. He was just present. Let me go back to, uh... Uh... All right. Okay, so that one was pretty straightforward. Anybody else around here that we need to, uh, ID? Besides the poor Formosan guard that took the fall. Oh, well, hey, what is this? A shiny little shell. Well, that's what they're talking about the shells for, huh? I guess they kind of did need to make only one of them hit, because they didn't want to split the kill four ways, right? seen yet. Or is this the same one from before? Ah, right. It's the dude that took the can into the thorax or larynx or whatever. Thorax. It's a bug thing, isn't it? Hmm. One here that we haven't seen yet, huh? Well, we'll take a look at this one. What? <laughs> pick, 
excuse me. Okay, alright, alright. I was thinking there was a bad bout of digestive problems going on there at first, but okay. Yikes. Oh, it was the artist. Oh. oh poor guy. Once his face was checking food or something. Okay. Anybody else around to hear that disgusting exit? <laughs> Well, that one's pretty clear-cut, huh? Another <laughs> sprint. Uh, that be considered strangled? No, probably crushed. Crushed by the beast. Hey, look at that. I'm glad they tell you right away. That's neat. That's good. So we're right about Alfred. Right about Edward. Right about Nunzio. Well, of course we're right about Nunzio. Like, come on. <laughs> I've got the shaky death hand again. All right, all right, all right. Just resolve the last of the shaky death hand and call it. That wasn't what's his face, right? Was or was that um, Nichols? Presumably, that's probably his steward. having a rough go of things. Just to eat the shrimp or something. I don't know who he is. He is. Oh, he's dead. All right. Wow, he had a really bad reaction to something then. Okay. You killed my brother. What? That was an accident. The robes. It wasn't his fault. I saw the whole thing. Nice. Oh, I shouldn't have waited so long. No, don't. Oh, damn. All right. Well, we know he's Danish. <laughs> we know he got just took a fucking clock on the head there. Dang. And this guy, who we apparently know who he is now. There's a... Somebody else was talking here. Oh, him, maybe? Oh, or him. Oh. Looks like, uh... That dude's got a book in his arms, eh? That might be our Henry What's-His-Nuts. OK. 
Okay, so Danish, and then, and then, and then. Killed my brother. Something about ropes before this time, okay. All right, well, let's see. Well, there's only one Dane on this list. He got clubbed by whoever that was. Uh, not him. This dude? What did he look like? This dude. That dude. Killed his brother. So... Uh... Uh, there aren't a whole lot of familial ties on here besides the, the cap and his wife, right? Alright, it'd be easier to do this from here. Or can I not just look at the damned? Thank you. Alright, let's see here. Well, presumably his brother was a topman then, if he was killed by the ropes, presumably. <clears throat> hmm. I don't know if I should be basing this on voices either, but that might give us another clue. Can I re-listen to the thing? You bloody Dane. Is that an English expression, you think? Bloody? Probably. Alright. Hmm. Hmm. Well, it's not enough info to narrow this down, probably. Well, actually, wait. Samuel Peters and Nathan Peters. Well, <clears throat> do we know if it would, uh, if it would tell us? If I pick somebody just totally off the cuff here, uh, can I just clean this up? Be like, Brr. try anyways. Sure. Hmm. Wish there was just a hey, clear this out, please. Hmm. 
Hmm. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm. All right, well, that seems as good a time as any to... <clears throat> so call it a night. He's definitely got the books. That wouldn't be... Wait, what was the, what was the dude's name that sent us the books and shit? Was that, uh... Is that Edward or something, right? No, not Edward. Uh, Henry. Edward was the artist that got... Oof. That really... <laughs> really ate it super hard on the bow. Henry Evans? What is, was it Henry Evans that gave us this book? Where was the foreword here? Or was that just in our mind that he narrated it for us? Hmm. Well, well, no matter. I think we'll call it there for this eve. All right, interesting. Interesting little murder mystery. Little puzzly puzzle game we got going on here. Uh, alright. Well, we've left maybe like two or three folks we could take a good guess at, and then we're gonna have to go run around and, and do some more investigative lead work. Leg work, rather. But we got six solved, apparently. Um, kind of the game to tell us that. Uh, cause I'd hate to be like, oh, are you super sure all these 60 people died this way? And be like, yeah. Uh, but alright, that'll do it for tonight. Next stream will be Wednesday night, 7 p.m. CST. We'll be back here with Return of the Oprah Din. Uh, Thursday night, 7.30 p.m. CST, be Shmup Book Club. We're still working on picking out the shmups for this month and this quarter. So those will be outlined as soon as we know. Uh, Friday, we're off. Saturday, early p.m. CST. Well, early to mid p.m. CST. Uh, Saturday, grab bag. We'll pick something out for that. And then Sunday, 7 p.m. CST. Sunday, long place. We'll pick something for that eventually as well. But that'll do it for tonight. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you on Wednesday. Bye-bye.